Reality bending, mind bending. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're going to the Matrix Resurrections. After all these years, to be going back to where it all started. Back to the Matrix. You saw the first part last year? Yeah. <laughs> wakey, wakey. <laughs> 1999. I took a blue pill and I thought uh, I was going to wait 21 years. And then I'm going to see if this movie is still so great. Whoa. It blew me off my chair. It was a yeah. great movie. What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? Fascinated by the storytelling, the technical tricks the they time. could do with that was phenomenal. No one can be told what the Matrix is. I think that a lot of people really thought we were in the Matrix when the Matrix came out. The answer is up there, Neo. It's the question that drives us. It's really hard to surpass the first one. The first one was so groundbreaking, especially for that time. If they do it good like they did in the first movie, we can be in for an awesome thrill. You cannot do it better, maybe. But how can you make it not like Home Alone, the new Home Alone? Actually, this little clip here gives me some hope that we could be in for something we haven't seen yeah. before. Hey, oh. man. Hello. Set and setting, right? Oh, uh, no. My theory after seeing this little clip that everything that happened in the first Matrix trilogy was fake. Whoa. I think it means that it was also fed to them by the machine or? That everything that we saw in the first trilogy was a simulation. Get me the hell out of here! Welcome to the real world. If the fans already figured it out by now, I think it's too easy. So I think we're in for a very different move. Everything's already figured out by someone. We've seen some images of Agent Smith. Now we see images of Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus. We see the yep. new Morpheus. Which Morpheus is he? Is he a young yep. Morpheus? Is he, is he a different Morpheus? Is he Morpheus of a new version of the Matrix? Uh, time to fly. Why do they have this other Morpheus while Lawrence Fishburne was such an icon? Or you must have a very good reason in the script. This is what's gonna happen. I think they're gonna present that to us that the first trilogy was fake, but that actually this Morpheus and the blue-haired girl are the villains and that they are agents that make them believe that the first three movies were fake and at the end oh my we will God, see you go so far? at the, at, at the end at the end we will one? see at the end we will see the real morpheus lawrence fishburne as a surprise act turn up it's and save the day and point them out it's impossible not impossible inevitable <laughs> Uh, here you go. <laughs> it sounds actually so good that I think it's true. Shit. <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> but it will still be super sick to see. December 22nd, maybe we get to, to uh, talk a bit about it in the, in the new year when we're uh, back.